what's up? This is Crazy Cop, I'm coming to you live again on Twitch. Back from recovering from the pseudo fever that is my vaccination shot, and. Hi, Professor O. Hello, Ash. I have an important message for you. They are starting an official Puzzle League tournament, and you are selected as one of the challengers. <laughs> I'll go sign up. I'm so proud of you, Ash. Being selected for this event is such an honor. Well, there's no time to explain everything. You must hurry. Well, let's go. <laughs> Wait! Don't forget to come and see me in my office in Puzzle League Village! Yeah! Did you hear me, Ash? Eager to prove themselves in this new type of Pokémon battle, Ash and Pikachu race to Pokémon Puzzle League Village. There it is, Pikachu! Are you ready for another new challenge? Pikachu! Alright, as I was saying, I'm back from... My second vaccination... Appointment. Well, that was a few days ago, but I'm re I've recovered from the pseudo fever I got from that. And I decided to go back, dig up my old my Nintendo, my Nintendo 64, and I'm playing instead of playing the relevant new Pokemon Snap, I'm playing Pokemon Puzzle League instead. And I'm sorry I didn't talk during the cutscene. It's not because anything. It's not because I. I'm, I want people to listen to the cutscene itself, it's because I'm worried that I'll be drowned out by the cutscene. That's more or less it. But, uh... Yeah. I'm going to be trying to play the one-player stadium on hard mode. No particular reason, I'm not to be doing anything, just... Again, it's kind of weird. I don't have anything really planned. On Mondays, for the most part, but I also kind of scramble, but I think this is, a pretty, this is pretty good. This is something I'm a bit I'm very familiar with, and... Huh. Do you have to say that it's kind of impressive overall that there's uh, FMVs for this game, like for a Nintendo 64 game. And yeah, there's a bunch of accounts, profiles already on here. Somebody's today me actually owning a copy. Adrian is not, definitely not me. Razor is me, though. I'm gonna just do guest. But, uh... Yeah, this game's got a lot going on with it, but... I'm just not gonna go over the details. I don't know. Are we, like... Maybe a bit of it, like... There was panels upon on the Sip of Nintendo on the Sip of Famicom. No Nintendo America didn't think that World Fairy Girls would sell the game in the West, so they turned it into a Yoshi game and called it Tetris Attack. Which would come back back to buy them legally when they tried to be released this later on. Well they couldn't be released later on because of the name. Then they tried to make a sequel for the six, Nintendo 64, it got cancelled. But its Western version was saved and it got turned into this. Which is today the only Pokemon game of any sort that's directly based off the anime. But anyways, there you go. Do it. And there's the Chad Gary himself. And one of the big picks they can hear the wonderful little kids voice acting clips about all of this. And again, it doesn't matter which Pokemon you pick, it's just... You may think... Speaking about... I don't know, I don't even get know why this is even an option here, aside from... Again, maybe like this Pokemon will be like the other one, but... Alright. I don't want to be that much of a stick about it. Oh my god, I get my first, uh... Boss here. I think I feel a little frustrating, that's no fault of the con- Like I am- like when I usually I play 64 games, I play them straight off the actual hardware. <laughs> Just because. Well, not because, but- I don't know. Well, I guess because. I don't really to do it all. I am rusty. Rusty, rusty, rusty. I'm rusty!
But um, anyways, most Nintendo 64 games on 4x3, there is an option to kind of switch out into a widescreen format, which this game doesn't have. It's still stretched, but it looks a little better than switching the whole thing out. And here we go with this. And we beat him in almost the next phone, but... Let's go. Anyways... <laughs> well, I'm able to make it the pop aspect ratio, just stepping close to it on the stream, on my TV, it's still horribly stretched out, and it looks a little odd at times. I don't know why. Yeah, all gloating about the Puzzle Master, how great the Puzzle Master is, how amazing he must be, so on and so forth. Alright. Oh let's get going, let's see what happens. Alright, I just put my headphones back on and you... Oh yeah! Well, the... Soundtrack is that of the. Uh, not necessarily the anime soundtrack in and of itself, but a promotional Yippee! soundtrack. Having a lot of songs that were loosely based game. around the concept of Pokemon. Nice go, Galvin. Are you ready? And there's Misty. Okay, and this song, I believe, comes from the... It was used in the first anime movie, the... One of Mewtwo. Mewtwo Strikes Back, I suppose it's what you would call it. Pokemon the first movie, whichever, I guess, sounds more... what you felt. It was marketed as the first movie in the US, but I guess Mewtwo Strikes Back would be a more appropriate name. And it's also its name in the West as well, it's just that... No, Nazi is a marketing tool as saying it's the very first ever Pokemon movie, is it? Oh yeah, even on hard the AI could be a bit, uh, going. Alright. Again, it's supposed to have all this voice acting and FMVs in the game, but it's Why still very compressed. Oh, well, and here's Lieutenant Surge, who... To my knowledge, he's the only gem leader in the Kanto portion of the anime that Ash actually beat with no gimmicks. He didn't get a pity badge from the gem leader, Team Rocket didn't come in and wreck things up. It was a clean cut. Ash's Pikachu be invite you. There was no interruption. There was no weird gimmick to it all. It was like the most straightforward gym battle in the anime. Speaking of which, this is actually a track from the anime. At least the U.S. version of it soundtrack, because I think they did change, like, some of it is from, was adapted from the original anime by Proxy the Games, but I think some of it was made just for the... Could be wrong. Again, I'm just... That's a way to ask for something, right, you? Here's a question I kind of don't remember. Did but the ever design this? Are they actually brand new ones they created just for this, or were they repurposed from the? Uh, were they repurposed from the uh, anime itself? I don't know. I do notice that I'm not terribly. I don't know. I haven't seen it since. I haven't actually watched the anime since the. Uh, 
Jello era, like the golden silver era. I stopped watching after that, and I think I haven't seen any episodes since then. And I really have no interest in watching it at all. There's a point in the comments wants to go back and revisit at least, uh... Kanto, the red and blue... season. Since the episodes there were just kind of... pretty, pretty... fucked up. I'm just gonna say that. I don't not often swear, but that's kind of how... That's the direction the early seasons of Pokemon went in. In fact, the whole saga about how Ash dealt with Erica was kind of out there. He was insulting her perfume, he got kicked out of the store and by proxy the gym. He even got kicked- even his friends ditched him. So he had the cross dress. And speaking of Team Rocket, he initially instigates a gym battle with Erica, but then Team Rocket starts a fire. Ash saves the gloom, I think, and she gives him the pity badge, really. Ash didn't really win most of his badges for actual skill, he just kind of got him because either Team Rocket was causing a ruckus and Ash stopped him, or. And just took pity on him. Give up? Or some other weird nonsense, which... I remember this song, even, like, I had a... I didn't have the promotional soundtrack, but I had a sound... I had did, I did have, like, a CD... Give up? Like, a promotional bundle thing with the first movie. It's, what kind of Pokemon are you? I believe these medieval editions should be good. I don't know if the actual songs themselves would be... offensive, but... I only think, the thing that's too is because of the way the gym battles worked in the adaptation. You only really saw the gym leaders like use one Pokemon ever. That's again because the, the fights usually last one or so episode. Ah. Like, I think she had a Tangula and the game's proper, but. The only one I remember seeing in the anime was Gloom. Again, I have not seen that at all since... I don't know, 2000? No, not 2000. 2000 and... Okay, I think the... I stopped watching the show proper during the Golden Silver Days, but I did watch one of the movies based off of the... Like, Hoenn or the Ruby and Sapphire. And that's... That was when he was trying to tone down on the weird stuff, but then you had, like, the Latias that could shapeshift into a girl and had romantic feelings for Ash, and... Ugh. Pokemon's anime series was crazy. And it doesn't seem like it doesn't get, gets, it doesn't get to that level of crazy anymore, which... Oh yeah, Koga, and he was kind of forgettable. It would be a basic battle if not for Team Rocket butting in. Again, the, they didn't butt in the third one because I guess they were gauging how well Ash's Pikachu was doing. That's a bit, been an obsession at least it was back then. Golbat was the one he used in the anime. I don't know if he ever had a Voltorb at all, though. Did he have a Voltorb in the games, or is that just something this came up with? He also has music strip in the anime. Yeah, I'm doing okay, but I wouldn't say I'm doing that well. I'm just kind of doing the rudimentary basics here. And the AI is kind of a bit daft, even on hard. You can not very hard or super hard if you want to get a real rise out of him, at least this early on. Congratulations. You also, for some reason, I don't know what's up with this. It's kind of weird, I have a converter for my older stuff, specifically. They basically just made 64 at this point, but... Not only does it stretch it out the widescreen on my TV, but it also seems to reverse the audio channels on my, uh... That's weird. Play with me. 
Oh, good goodness gracious. Oh god, the whole thing of Sabrina was... So... She was ostracized as a kid. All her emotions were put into a little doll. She captured people, turned them into dolls. Ash had to go find a ghost Pokemon to stop her. She, he and Pikachu die. They go on a little misadventure of the ghost. But then they decide they won't go fly on to get people anymore. Ash and Pikachu come back to life. They take one of the ghost hunters specifically with them. Um, Haunter doesn't really fight. Ash gets turned to a doll anyways. Then Haunter does slapstick. Sabrina laughs and everything's normal. And Ash gets his pay badge. And it's like... What's funny too is I think Sabrina's like one of the most... She's never the same in any adaptation of Pokemon. Like... She's like a moody girl with psychic powers in the game, then like every adaptation kind of has a different spin on that. She did use an Abra and an Alakazam. No, she didn't, she didn't use the Alakazam. She used an Abra and a Kadabra. She did not have a Hypno. Which... That one's become very popular. It's been very popular in the internet for a long time. As a general feat overall. You know, the psychic types being like the hard, like the overpowered Pokemon type back in the day, and that was sure pathetically easy. Congratulations, you've won the Marsh Badge. Just got weird. Red, hot, and red. Oh, oh, good God. You got the same voice as Gary. Just a little gruffer. And Brain's also radically different from his game camp, at least in the anime. He's some beatnik. Like, he poses as a beatnik asking riddles because he didn't like the fact that tourists were coming to his gym, so he hid it, and he had to have these silly riddles. Though, it wasn't really Ash stopping the riddles that got him to the gym, it was him stopping Team Rocket, of course, and then... They found a, oh, well, an actual volcano, and... Ugh. Again, the, the concept of Pokemon itself is kind of absurd and over the top, but then you got... The anime just piles on all this weird nonsense. He used Magma in the anime, and I think he used Arcanine in the games. He did not never have a Charmeleon on him, though. I think that's something the... Way to go! This game came up with. Now, it's kind of funny when you have like a com make two combos simultaneously. That the lines of the lap. I hope you like those voices. I mean, I wouldn't say they're the worst ever. A little harsh, especially since again, there's come some nostalgia from these voices. Not too much, but a little bit. And you're probably going to be hearing more of this, these voices later on. Like, not- I'm not going to be playing another Pokemon game, but... There is another game, at least not too long after this, that kind of utilizes a lot of the same voice. Yes, it was like... It used to kind of love him in a full kid, but... They did a lot of anime work in general. They even kind of did like some... Mockbuster stuff, too. Way to go. Like, a lot to just kind of go on. I think I think Blaine's the best one to actually pose an actual challenge on hard. I know, the game sh is not all that hard on hard, but... Oh yeah, this song. It's the goodbye song. Then Ash has freaks out over his Pikachu falling for all, well, all the Pikachus at one point. I'm gonna win. No mind. I'm gonna win. I think there's a way to turn on the flashing. I think I, if I did, there is. I think it's in, that's already enabled. I could be wrong about that though, and I'm sorry. Again, at least it's not like the one 
I don't know. The infamous Polygon episode. Which I believe that episode, the Pikachu's Goodbye episode, it was made in response to that. I was like... I wonder if that was kind of a meta thing, too. It's like, oh no, are we gonna cancel Pokemon because of that incident? I don't know. Again... Pokemon well, was like a weird gateway thing. Like, it was popular, it was the trendy go-to thing back in the late 90s. In my anime, the anime was my introduction to it. And I didn't stop from the gang either. My the first episode I saw was one where... Involving, uh, Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee and... Oh, no. Not you. I don't care for you, Tracy. I don't care for you in the slightest. He's like the annoying sketch artist. He places Brock because... Apparently, the anime, the sta anime staff thought Brock could become off as racist. So they placed him with a Caucasian boy. White boy. Nobody liked Tracy, so they brought back Brock back. But then they decided they could also need to cast around Ash afterwards. Of course, the stuff about Brock being replaced over supposed racism was... Only recently revealed. The only real hook Tracy had going from during the, it was like the Orange Island, it was like the filler s season of Pokemon. Like they already went through the red and blue material, but the gold and silver stuff hadn't come out yet, so they had to make up. A... Oh, there's an Orange Island. That's through the apps. Tracy's only real hook is that he had one of the upcoming Gen Two Pokemon, Meryl. I said, yeah, he also had a Cypher, too. I don't remember... Also, I don't like how Tracy sounds in this game. Like, I don't like his voice in general. Maybe it's... but... It's just something so... Yeah, there's that. Yeah, the voices of laughing don't help, but... Again, if you're coming here for a pro play, don't, I'm sorry, but don't expect it. I mean, he just likes overlapping himself. It's like, oh man, and go, go, go. Just as annoying as I am. Again, I apologize to anyone who's a fan of Tracy. Again, I just don't particularly have any... I saw, like, the entirety of the first... Like, the Ponto stuff and the Orange Island stuff. I don't remember seeing the entire... Some of the gang stuff of the... Orange... Like, of the Jura stuff, but then I kind of lost interest. No, the overlapping on oh man like it sounds so I don't know, sarcastic or patronizing. I'm gonna win. Like I know it's supposed to be like my like cool or amazing, but it just sounds go, like go, go, I don't know. Is it too Lewis voicing him? Go, sounds go, like it, but I could be wrong. I'm not too well versed on who a fucking like who the guys have voiced Ash missing Brock. I don't pay too much attention to who voices too. So. Congratulations, you've won. Let's do it. Oh yeah, it is Team Rocket. I do remember though that T Jesse and James had the same voice actors as Brock and Misty, which I built. I'm wondering if that was kind of intentional, the kind of sort of the weird parallel, I suppose. Pika, pika! Well, for 
one, Coco already had a gold bat in his body, so why they give them a gold bat too? Kinda seems like a waste of space unless they want to make a time position anyway. Second, I know we call them for having a gold bat. They had a licking tongue. Which, again, I, Jesse had a look of tongue, so why don't you use... Why didn't they use that? Again, it was not really was an issue. This is before, like... Oh, the victory bell, actually. James is victory bell. I'm just trying to think off the top of it in my head about, like, the... I wonder if there's like any mods that change some of the voice clip, like... Maybe make one of the voice clips for Team Rocket being James, like, infamous Leo Bennett and Four Kids on a Devil rant. That would be lovely. Again, I don't know if, that, if that's even doable. Again, it, might be a bit, it seems like it would be a lot more intricate to... He plays voice files. Oh, at least, like... They're using, like, the same sort of thing that, uh, Factor 5, like... When Factor 5 made the Star Wars Book Squadron games, they had a nice little voice compression trick that a lot of games in the 64 afterwards would, like, utilize. The only game beforehand to use that was kind of, a Oh, snap. Yeah, I can hear the misty voice out of Jesse at times. I'm, I don't know. If you pay close attention to voice actors doing roles, it's very easy for you to kind of single out the voice a lot of the time, honestly. Like, yeah. Sometimes not, maybe not so much, especially if it's like in a different work, but if you're like voicing multiple characters in the same work, it's bound, you're bound to hear at least one of those voices again in... Oh. Game Rocket's got the first major victory. We did it. Not just in this game, but I think relative to the time this was made, pretty much the first time in... Alright. There's no real penalty for continuing, at least not in this version. Again, the multiple character selection in the original Pound Upon was more of a live system. Uh, Pokemon Puzzle doesn't really adhere to that, so it's just kind of more of a general... Again, it's just more of a preference. But you can't- I don't think you can really pick... Unless you go back out and re-enter, you can't really pick the Pokemon you want to hear the voice clips of, but... Are Pikachu's voice clips new, or are they recycled as well? I think some of the Pokemon voice clips are all recycled from the anime straight up, but... I don't know. Alright. Again... I don't know. Hard oh, to be chatty in a, in a webinar, especially a puzzle game like this. Oh man. Oh, sometimes stuff like that doesn't count. I could stretch it that way, but. Sorry, spam on the chat. I can't tolerate spam. I guess I'm low energy right. If I sound like I'm low energy right now, it's just I am pretty tired, and it's like on the flip side, I got the 64 hooked up back again. If I want to do games on there, like how often doing Banjo Tree Mission Makers? 
And again, I brought this one out because I thought this would be a simple and... It might have been like half an hour. Still plenty to, to kind of, um, go through. Down we go. Again! Don't recall the air being, like, super bright. Like, bright and slightest. Yeah, they sound very happy about that, actually. How good are you? Oh yeah, Drew Ryan, the one kid where they actually liked showing his face. Like, it's obscured when I saw the anime, then... Got revealed towards the end of the Kanto arc. Then, sometime during the Jodo arc, they hit his face again. Okay. Huh? He obviously had a Persian in the anime. I think he had a Neo... Did he have a Neo Queen or a Sand Slash in the game, so... I'm the... Like, the only Pokemon I know he used in the anime... And I say that loosely with Mewtwo. Like, goofy armor getup. The world will be mine. Like, really goofy on the get-up. Again, I apologize to people who like that definition of Mewtwo, it's just that... In the context of the anime, it's kind of a gimmick to obscure that Pokémon. Like, that said, I saw the episode with the mask from Mewtwo before, after the movie, so it wasn't really a, a shock or a surprise, and... Right. The world will be mine. Way to go! You're wasting my time. You're wasting my time. I get it, I'm wasting your time. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna win. Okie dokie. It's just Again, so I think just kind of become quiet from time to time. Again, it's kind of... I try to... I want to focus a little bit more with public games, and I find that I do a bit better if I'm not talking. But at the same time, I don't want this to just be a silent playthrough. Yep. Looks like that Giovanni is on track to wipe me out. Oh, he crumbled before, before I did. That was lucky. I'm a Pokemon master, the winner. His team Rocket Guns were more of a threat than he was, apparently. Congratulations, you've won the Earth Bag. Puzzle Elite, this game's interpretation of the Elite Four. Richie. I don't remember this character. I don't think I've seen the episode he was in, but he basically kind of seems like a mirror to Ash. He even has the Pokemon that Ash technically lost. He has the Butterfree and Charmander. Again, I don't remember. I don't. See, I didn't see the episode of him in it that had him in it at all. Give up. But it's like, some, everything about him just Don't seems like a Ash copycat. Like, Don't give up. Ash himself is basically a copycat of the red from the games proper. But again, I was so enamored with the, enamored with the anime that when I played Red and Blue for the first time, I named the, what, the Avatar Ash and the rival Gary instead of Red and Blue, which is the canonical terms for them. And it was like, again, Pokemon was like a gateway to, not just to the game, like the anime wasn't just a gateway to the games, but it was also a gateway to like a bunch of 64 games like Pokemon stuff. 
It's also the big reason why I got Super Smash Bros. in the first place. Like, the original Super Smash Bros. was like, Oh cool, a game where Pikachu can, can beat up Mario? Sweet! And like, Pikachu was the only character that would ever play any original Super Smash Bros. Like, I would just... When I was a little kid, I would do nothing but just spam his thunder over and over again. That was basically all I did in... That was basically all my strategy amount for both that and melee. By the time of all, I kind of grew out of that. Not necessarily Pokemon as a whole, but... But essentially, the whole, kind of sort of, I wasn't playing like the Gen 4 games. I did get a uh, Soul Silver at some point, though. I love... Again, Gen 2 is my jam, personally, but... There you go. That's something. It's not special, but it's something. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm gonna win. There we go. I'm guessing that. Yeah, I'm guessing his picture's called Sparky. And he has a. They all have like flutes or some weird decor on them. The Elite Medal's been awarded. Are you ready? Lorelei! She's definitely one of the... Uh... Yeah, she's definitely one of the Elite Four from the original... Red and Blue games, Gen 1. I believe she was in the anime as well, but she had a different name because... Her English name in the games was too long to pronounce with the lip flaps, so they had to... Give her a different name that matches the flaps. Oh, it's this theme. Uh, what's it? The... Man, I missed an opportunity there. Ah, oh, so it's kind of like drawing, like it used. I don't know, from my perspective, I'm used to hearing the anime Pikachu voice because that's just about everywhere now. There's no getting around that. But it's kind of drawing the hair that you have a Pokemon, have a weird Pokemon speak thing going on. It just sounds so weird. But again, I'm accustomed to hearing that Pikachu, so why am I not accustomed? I guess I could say for the Pokemon that I play on Smash as well. I just, I just kind of accept that as a matter of fact, sort of thing. Though I take that back, I don't like the ninja voice. Or oh, Incineroar's for that matter. Well, yeah, this is simpler times back when you only had 151 Pokemon. Not like over 800 or so. And counting. Can't win them all. That's just. I'm gonna win. Alright. Can't win them all. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna take you down. Can't win them all. I'm gonna win. Alright. I'm gonna take you down. So I am just like cloister. I don't know, something about the way the cloister sounds just sounds off to me. I don't remember what Pokemon she used in the anime for that matter. I believe Cloister and Dugong were Oh yeah! Hey they go. Yep! Thank this is Pound Upon or the North American Nintendo 64 take on it. Congratulations! Super job! As you can see, I'm a bit rusty, uh, right now. I sensed you'd come. And there's Bruno. I'll be the most unremarkable of the uh, original Elite Four. Yeah, I take it you're very familiar with Pound Upon yourself. I say I'm probably better at, at uh, 
pound upon Puzzle League than I am Tetris or Puyo Puyo, but I wouldn't say by that much. This is the version I'm most familiar with, by the way. I didn't grow up playing like Tetris Attack or the other versions, but. Right. Again, just... Right. So it is kind of a map like going back and forth between looking at the chat and then, like going at the game itself. It's kind of... A game like this kind of requires a bit of focus and dedication and whoops. Like, Any other Pokemon voices and the bickering in the background just kind of add to that. Alright, well, there we go. Could have been a little bit better, but... Oh well, you still went down. Again, the heart's a bit of a misnomer. It's more like normal. At least as far as I'm concerned with this game. Congratulations. I went Gary as the puzzle master because... He was the puzzle pawn, I beat him. He left, and then apparently... He just became the Puzzle Master, or he was always the Puzzle Master, and I don't know. The game is non existent plus, kind of goofy all around. Kind of something to justify skating us into a Pokemon game. Alright. Oh, well, yeah. Gary's yeah, theme is the Orange Island theme song. Whoa. Oh, I don't even... Ah, oh, he went down too quickly. I wanted to sing the theme song. My I actually know the, kind of know the lyrics to that one. It's like the first season theme song, but with a different... Congratulations, you won. Yeah, but I'm nowhere near a pro at chaining at all. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of... If I was playing on... A higher difficulty, there would have been an extra fight against Mewtwo. The thing with that, though, is that if you lose the fight with Mewtwo, you have to fight Gary all over again, and that's kind of annoying. Probably the reason why I didn't do it. I can literally want to save as I have and go back to it, I think. We'll see. Okay, kind of weird. The game itself is covered with time capsules. This is basically at the peak of the Pokemon craze. And it was also kind of an example of how Nintendo couldn't find a way to... Like, they cancelled the Japanese version of Pound Upon. The only reason this version came out was because... Hey, Pokemon's popular in North America, let's make it a Pokemon game. It worked! I got everything that was Pokemon back in the day. I have. Yeah, yeah. Still plenty of time, like plenty of time going on. Uh, I'm gonna go and see if I can maybe. I'm gonna go check and see if one of these other files have. Uh... No, I can't. No, if I do that, I'm gonna have to replay the whole thing. And I maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Well, why the heck not? I'll go for another round on very hard. Maybe have more of an actual challenge. Again, just... 
I can help on hard mode itself, but terribly tough. Alright. Okay. Ah. I can kind of see how the voices can get a little air grating after a little bit though, and I can hear it just seems kind of stupid in general in this game. I hardly did much of anything then, and kind of went down. This is supposed to be super hard, wasn't it? Yeah. Very hard, not super hard. It's, that one's legitimately hard, but if I'm very hard, it seems like the... AI opponents can be a bit daft. Ah. Okay. I think we did daft too, so... Ah. Again, I am doing okay-ish chains, but again, compared to yeah. this one cut it, you're going on like, I don't know, definitely does not cut it if you're playing the game, the original Pound of Pond. I do think that this, the original Pound of Pond is a little tough of all, but I don't know how much of that's just definitely programmed AI or other things. Yeah, on the flip side, Brock actually is posing a bit more of a challenge here compared to how he was on hard, but not, I wouldn't say too much of one. Alright. Okay, I was a bit slow on that one. Again... No problem. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, Brock is actually picking up a pretty good fight so far. No problem. Compared to everyone else, I've been at least compared to Gary. Of course. And I say that as he goes down. Yippee! Okay. Congratulations. So against Misty again, and... Oh yeah, Staryu and Pikachu are the same voice actress. Though it's kind of hard to tell that with Staryu. Sounds very, very distinct. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Missy's already got a big wombo combo, I guess. I'm gonna win. Good day. All right. Yep, I'm already kind of in cop between the rock and the hard place. A block and a hard place, I guess. I'm gonna win. Yep. I'm but gonna act win. quickly if I'm gonna. And I did not act quickly. That is, evidently, I'm just not all that good at it. Alright. Again, you have to be like really fast on a draw, and again, I don't know. I don't know how much of that is just 
Me big bad up. The D pad on the 64 controller. I think more of that's just me. Alright. Alright, let's go against Edge and. That's how this turns out. Way to go, way to go! And yeah, that can get annoying with... Yeah, the voice clips... Again, whether or not you like the voice acting of the Pokemon anime... The repetitive voice clips can really get on your nerves. So maybe I'll mix up a little bit more, switch the Pokemon around. Again, it's purely cosmetic, but... Especially when they overlap each other like that, which I'm gonna win. It's kind of hilarious, but it's also kind of annoying, like frustrating. Again, the AI can just kind of freak out a bit there and crash and burn, but. All right. Be squirtle. Woo! And here we go. So this turns out... Way to go. Dang it! Okay, that was kind of cool. I just got uh, deal with the big block Erica sent me. All right. Give up. Oh well. And she's already cleared out of her garbage blocks, and I'm, gonna win. I'm flooded. I'm gonna win. All right. Again, I wasn't getting something of an actual challenge out of this compared to I'm how things were going on. Uh, the act, the original hard mode, but. Give up. But yeah, these little chains I'm doing just aren't cutting it. Gonna have to be a bit more involved in how I'm currently going. Alright, let me just see if I can clear this off first. Alright. There we go. Whoops. Alright, that's good. My Pokemon rule. I'm alright. Cool. Do you choose? I call correctly Koga and very hard is where you get your first real challenge. Okay, I'm so Golbat actually sounds more bat like here than he did in the Pokemon anime. I believe in that one he was more like Go! Probably a good thing he's not like that here, honestly. It's not like that, I guess. Probably not like to be a female girl bad. That was before, I think, they really introduced the concept of genders into, uh, the Pokemon universe. Well, properly. Until then, like, the only Pokemon that had genders were the Nidorans. We're not beat yet. Ah. Uh. Oh, I'm not beat yet. Oops. I'm gonna win. 
I keep... I try and make sunset for change, and I just keep prevailing him on my lonesome. Again, it's very reactionary, very... All those games are, but it's like... I don't know. Again, of all the ones I've, I've played, this is probably the one I'm the most skilled at, but again, that's not saying much. Alright. Alright. Again, I'll look harder. I'm not young, though. Not that young. I'm gonna win. We're not beat yet. In my 20s, yeah, but like. I'm not a little kid. Alright. We're not beat yet. Kind of a shame, like, the more thing about, like, when, the fact that there's, like, Pac-Man 99, Tetris 99, why didn't, like, the panel of the pun 99? Like, when I was discussing, like, doing, like, a Big Digger Mappy 99 the, um, the other day, but... Uh-oh. I can see how, uh, yeah, I think... <laughs> if anything, how the pawn style would actually work for a Battle Royale type game. It's just that Nintendo needs to show some interest in reviving the series. It's a pretty fun puzzle game of it on its own accord, or on its own right. It's just that they have they have a, they've had bad luck trying to figure out exactly who to market the game for. Like that seems to be the biggest issue because that's the one thing that keeps the series from seeing any sort of um, new market. Work harder, young one. We are not beat yet. Because keeping up just a phase nowadays, like. We are not beat yet. It's a bit weird, but slapping up another license onto it would we also not kind of be a bit iffy. The closest is the Puzzle League stuff got to any sort of revival, the Pound Upon stuff was, uh... There was an update to the Animal Crossing uh, New Leaf on the 3DS that lets you, like, play Puzzle League as a minigame. But just... That was just like a one-off example. Like, there hasn't been any serious attempt to revitalize them, it was just more of a... Well, back to those who remembered, and again, maybe a callback to when they had, like, unlockable NES games on the original Animal Crossing. Ooh, cool, 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 cool! Keep going, keep going, keep going! Nice! Okay, that was dumb luck. That was not skill, that was just dumb luck. I... I'm probably could, I could still lose this, especially if what got laid out in front of me there. We are not beat yet. We are right. Not beat yet. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Well, we'll see about that, but maybe. We are not I'm gonna win. Harder, young one. And yeah, there's like slowdown, but that's beneficial slowdown with the way this game's structured. We are not I'm gonna yet. win. I'm gonna win. Of course, when I actually make some decent chain chains and combos, I li I'm losing. But when I just play like a yeah, I was really hoping for a win there. You are a worthy. Like, seriously. Watch, I'm not gonna do it anywhere near as good. I'm gonna win this one. Work harder, young one. Yeah, I do appreciate how the. Okay. 
and it's not. I'm gonna win. Again, I'm. S also, one of the a nice touch here too is that the, 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 the option to like change some of the. Oh, so uh, but you can choose between either like for the blocks themselves. You can choose either the panels, I should say. You can choose between either the original design, which I'm, I'm using, or I can use like a more Pokemon style yet. design based off the badges, I believe. But I generally yet. prefer the original Coyo Block design. Uh oh. I'm gonna win. Okay. I'm gonna win. That's just. Ah. Okay. You really gotta pay better attention to where all the blocks are aligning when this happens. I mean, this is like the best opportunity for me to chain personally. I could, yeah, I could have, could have done better there, but... Work harder, young one. All right. I'm gonna win. Though, yeah, the steel blocks especially seem to keep me in a bind. All right. Work harder, young one. Cool. That was unintended, but cool. All right. Okay, that's not weird on my end. But victory noise, but I liked. Play with me. A raspy Pokemon, of course. Which one's Raspier? Bubble Saw or Labra? Again, I believe, uh, there was a, yeah, she didn't have an Alkazam in the anime. I don't even think she had one in the games, either. It was a like it was a Kadabra, but this was around the same time, uh, one of the, so in Japan, the, this little family of Pokemon, like the Apple Kadabra Alkazam family, was named after, like, actual magicians. Like, I think, I believe, oh god. The, the Abba voice in, like, the more recent, like, the Smash Abba doesn't sound anywhere near this raspy. Like, a much wide, higher pitch. Where it's just like, whoa. Oh good god, it like strains my throat. Alright. You won't I need to get at least put some of these blocks away so I can uh potentially yeah, I'm gonna cover. There we go. There we go. Okay. Do that. I want you someone down pretty easily. Alright. Oh yeah. What exactly is Renlock supposed to be any like I know all the Pokemon are based off some sort of conceptual design, but what exactly is Magma? Like a fiery platypus? That's how I that's what I kinda of see when I see his design. It's design I should say. And when you're Gary, you're Gary. Oh, 
Some of the music choices has him all over the place too, at least if you're familiar with what the actual music tracks are, like... The music track that was about Ash saying goodbye to Pikachu is now the theme of the little living Fire spew pun spewing guy. Uh. All right. Oh. Again, the game just makes less and less sense the more you think about it. I don't know, it's just... Alright. So far, so good, but... That can change quite easily. Alright. You know what they say? When you're hot, you're hot. Tracy, so I'm not looking forward to him at all. He usually whoops my butt pretty hard here, and again, I don't, I can't stand his voice, especially in this game. Like Tracy specifically. Again, that oh man always comes off as sarcastic sounding to me. I just. Yeah, I think that's the intent, it's the, but that's... Just always rubs me the wrong way. Especially when, like, when he, like, chains over and over like that, and it's like, that's all he says, and it's like... Alright. Yeah, this turns out probably not so hot. Well, well, it's not hot anymore. Right. Again, I am making strides here and there, but not enough to like. Oh wow. Again, I think a lot of this is just dumb look on my end. Go, go, go. But yeah, he's also being pretty consistent. He's going, go, go, go! Again, how long am I gonna last like this, though? doing a pretty good job clearing a lot of the blocks on his lonesome, so... I love that turned out much better than usual! Alright. I know Meowth was not really much of a fighter in the enemy itself, but it's kind of weird that they put another goal batter instead of him as one of the Pokemon. Why not? Play didn't care for his consistency until now. Alright. 
Isn't about, like, I guess it's because of the free characters thing, but like, I isn't one of them like Charizard or something. Well, Charizard too rowdy for Pokemon Puzzle Wig. Alright. Let's see. Ash constantly saying he's gonna win does not make me reassure me that he's gonna win. If anything, it makes me feel more more likely that he's gonna lose. I like. Dang it! Yeah, better fingers. Going. I'm ah. Yeah, I'm starting to get clumsy. We need to be stuck. Be better. Like, I've been surviving, but I'm not actually really fighting back now. Just kind of... Uh, moving the blocks at my own slow pace and not being able to, uh... Get them back. I might change soon, or not. Alright. Yeah, it's even more overlapping with the way Team Rocket works. Jack himself doesn't seem like he speaks that often, or well, even that, that much at all. That's part of Team Rocket in this game. Like, it's a lot more vocal, talkative in the other mode, the little line attack mode, but... Alright. Yeah, it's just I'm getting whooped here. I really need to get less sloppy with the combos and the chaining. This time I'm just kind of doing it just so I don't get good on immediately. I still go down immediately. Bring a lot of uh, bay panels too. I gotta put some tides, but oh well. Also, in the lower difficulty, they pick us a Pokemon. Again, not that really matters, but I think on a very hard onwards, they just pick whatever Pokemon. Yeah, and I went down. Yeah, Team Rocket's been the MVP as far as the AIs go tonight. Okay, they're the first ones to take me down on hard, they've been the ones that have been taking me down the most on very hard. But again, it's very. It's not uncommon for them to like slip up at least once and. Nope. Oh wow. Now those are the combos I need to be pulling off, and the, I'm not, which... Oh, 
Sit up there. Again, just yeah, the game much more relentless. Of course, you're feeling gay because you're like very, very close to. Ah! Again, dumb luck there. I think I actually felt a big chain reaction, but. I, I wasn't even paying attention to that. The only reason I kind of get the vibe of that was how echoey Squirtle sounded. Alright. Oh god, the Persian in this game sounds awful. I don't know, yeah, it's like very loud sounding. Yeah, that, that's loud growling noise and... Alright. Just gonna try to figure out a little strip on here. Man. Right. Let's make the most of it. I'm not gonna make the most of it. Oh! Ooh! 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 Aww. Could've done a little bit more of that, but... Oh, I think I got, I got could've gotten lucky there, but... I did! Alright! Now time to go to, uh... Mia Ash. He actually nicknames his Pokemon. To be fair, I don't really nickname him myself all that often, so... Who am I the judge? Um, Don't give that. I'm gonna win. Hey. Hey. Look on pretty quickly, anyways, though. Like, really, really quickly. Are you ready? All right. Hello. Full line. That's how she was pronounced in Pokemon Stadium. I don't know if that's the actual way you pronounce the name, but that's... Again, I'm just going off that. Alright. I'm just trying to alternate back and forth between the different Pokemon so it doesn't get too repetitive so quickly at this point, but... Yeah, again, the Pokemon pants mix. Ah. Man. That was... Yeah, that's... This is maybe a short match. Gotta get on all knots. I'll prolong my sibling a little bit longer. I'm gonna take you down. Oh well, at least I got a chance to, um... Uh... Yeah, again, this is like, probably my favorite track in the game, if only because I actually grew up with this particular Pokemon track for some reason. Yeah, 
Alright. Let's just... Come on! Oh, no. Down. It's got brain focus on clearing up the uh, blocks on top of me than I am actually running at the panels, but... I'm gonna take you down. Dang it. I'm not gonna win, but... Learn from losing. <laughs> okay, what's kind of the thought process since trying to do those Pokemon voices? Anyway, you just say a name, but you say it in a weird, goofy fashion. Like, I don't know. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Man. Man, I still got crushed. All right, an actual. Fair point, though. Mocking like a side, learn from losing. That said, I don't very really seem to be winning, now, do, am I? Alright. Ah. Again, I just kind of slip sometimes. Like, I press right when I should be pressing left. I need Rexes are whack. Alright. I don't know, maybe the, repeat, the constant, like... So many, so many times I can hear Ash say he's gonna win when that's clearly not gonna be the case. If anything, more lives clips seem to be more representative of the situation. Alright. Alright. Again, <laughs> gotta be completely focused on the puzzle itself. Can't even shut off in thoughts. Thought I was thinking about other things <clears throat> right now, like whatever modes I can do in the Way game after this, but if I have enough time, but I won't have enough time if I keep I'm stuck on this stage, so. Alright. I'm gonna take you down. Oh, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna win. Again, this is actually a dream of challenge because, again, playing hard mode just felt like a cakewalk. This on the event actually kind of feels like a, an win actual win. challenge. Uh. I'm gonna take you down. Way to go! Can't win them all. Oh. Right all right. I'm Can't gonna win them all. Down. This also like a Game Boy Equivalent called Pokemon Purple Challenge, which, unlike this one, they get released in Japan. Oh. That one's more closer oh. to the game, specifically, it's based off like gold and silver. Some like yeah, specifically gold and silver. Have fun if you want. Like it was kind of fun for playing it back on the go back in the day, but all right.
I'm gonna I'm win. Gonna win. Well. I got some combo potential out of that. And I have to actually take the whole way out, so. Huzzah! Yeah, Alright. And again, there's Bruno who. Okay, what was the other ones? Agatha and Lance? How come Lance isn't in here? Lance was like. the. toughest guy in the first two gens with his dragon types and. I don't know. Like, I, I can be I barely remember that Bruno was a character at all, and, uh... I think he's even the Elite Four member twice, and I don't care for Bruno. Like, at least of the Elite Four member, at least of the first two gems. I don't know. Okay, got potential here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Again, I won't say that's all entirely scared of. I get sometimes the AI really does drop the ball as much, like I can, so. At least that's kind of back you in a sense. Alright, I got all the way up here just so I can showcase off the extra YouTube fight. Let's get to it. No. Okay. My god. Oh no. Again, the fact that... Is it me or does Nether Queen's roll sound like a train? Like a deep train whistle. I know it's just like a stock roar, but the way they edit here, it's like... Dude, dude. At least that's how it sounds to me, but... Yeah, like that. Okay, I've been making some little combos here and there, but not enough to stave off the Nether Queen train. Yep. I'm stopping the Nether Queen train when you get here. I kind of need to get past the Needle Queen train if I want to... Alright. Oh man. Oops. Okay. Sorry for the pauses there, but it's like. God, I really need to figure my way out of this. Ah. Yeah, you gotta like sit through fast, which again, with the, my controller feels kind of impossible. Maybe if I was using something a bit more snappier, like a more modern controller, that'd be feasible, but. 
I just don't have the. I just. I can't really. I don't really have that on hand. Or I don't have any adapter of any sorts to work with, so. Uh -oh. Alright. Two toot, need a queen. It sounds like a deep train to me. I know that's a weird thing to say, but... I get distracted by that. It's like... You can't find a better way to add that stock roll sound effect. You have to make it sound like a low-pitched train whistle. We have to live in a Pokemon world. I wanna be the greatest master of them all. I'm seeing so off key there. Again, I think my throat still falls from the Abra infection I did earlier. Alright. Yeah, we all live in a Pokemon world. One that doesn't have all the Pokemon in it, apparently. It's better and worse, like... Oh, snap! Yeah, I just put out all the stops there. There's a reason why he has like 10 badges or something. Or 20. Like, does he even... Like, what, even once that he shouldn't even have him to begin with? I don't know. And then you just kind of drop off the face of the earth after you two kind of actually did some physical harm to him. Whoa! It's kind of a dire situation right now. Doable, but still dire. Okay, I won, so here we go. Secret fight commence. Welcome, puzzle champion. I am the puzzle master. I doubt you have what it takes to defeat me. <laughs> it is my destiny to crush all who oppose me. So... <laughs> Mewtwo's now afraid that since Ash became a puzzle master, that messes with his plans, or... Oh, goodness. But yeah, if you fail this, you go straight back to the Gary fight, which... I don't want to fail this. It's super easy to fail, especially since it's like... Yep, like that. Like that. It is my destiny. I have no time for games. <laughs> and you get treated to that lovely smug Mewtwo. Like, I think that's the smuggest he's ever been, ever. Like, does he even smile in the anime? Like... They have to draw a little smile off him here. It's like, I don't know. Let's do it. I think we need more smug Mewtwo. Oh. Can't be too mad about losing against him. Though I am not feeling about having to deal with Gary again. At least he picked Arcanine. <laughs> Ah. Show me what you got. All right. Way to go. So good for you. Yeah, Again, I'll see if I can actually get back to Mewtwo first and foremost, which, knowing me, I probably won't. I'm 
Ah. See if this gives us some nice potential. But it does. Oh, it definitely does. I didn't capitalize on it too well, but... Ah! Alright. Let's see what... Okay. Let's see what... Uh-oh. Mad Doge. Right, see you later, Legro. Best of luck to you at your job. Hope it's not too grueling today. Alright. See. Ah! I don't want to live in a Pokemon world anymore. I want to move elsewhere. I don't remember this like particular theme more so than the other ones. I don't even know what Mewtwo's theme is. It doesn't sound like anything from at all that from the soundtrack or the anime. Alright. Alright, sorry, I was just... Ugh. We'll fix up then. We did it. <laughs> I'll try my... Again, I'll keep trying. I've probably spent, like, half my time here, so... I don't know, it's kind of a custom to spend a long time on levels when I'm not particularly good at, so... I know this is very hard, but... I will say this much, though, I don't think the difficulty is, like, ludicrous compared to how... Like, the difficulty spike isn't all that ludicrous in comparison to how it was with the uh, other games I've been playing. Like, the Resident Evil games of Battletoads. I feel like it's a bit more nuanced here. But then again, I also said that the AI can just... Sometimes be stupid, sometimes not. Like, I don't know if I actually got here on my own accord often or best because it Gary just decided to... Kind of, uh, have a brain fart, but... Alright. I'm gonna win. Are you or are you not? Show me what you got. Pikachu! Show me what you got. I'm gonna win. I just saw me so much stuff cluttering up. Yeah. Show me what you got. Ah! Alright. We did it! <laughs> uh, yeah, I've lost like 13 times already. Big time of times with a Gary alone. Maybe even more. Alright. Again, I think the actual lyrics to the Boy and Dryron song is generally the same as that of the original theme, just again, different tempo of all. It's the chorus that kind of sticks out the most, that's the most diverse part. Alright. We are in a Pokemon world. I wanna be the greatest master of the world. They got you in the Pokemon world. Yeah, I'm not singing anymore. I do not like how it's kind of sending out. 
And of course, Gabe would get the most catchiest of the game songs. Alright. I'm trying to, Gay, but you powers are just too much for me right now. Arcanine powers. I'll well, be on the Nether Queen train again. Alright. Thank God for your love in the book. Wow. Ah. Alright. Just trying to can paint this. Oops, I got carried away there. Alright. No, you're not if you keep it. Not that attitude you want, Aunt Ash. Come on. Again, just knock it off your own stuckness at the... There you go. You did win, Ash. Good on you. Now, can you take on you two? Well, I guess it's the real Puzzle Master. We'll see. Again, does anybody know what this is supposed to be based off of compared to, like, the... Oh, God! Constipated Squirtle! I think the squirrel itself sounded all that different from the other squirrel in the movie proper, but... Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's a constipated squirrel, and... I'm going to win. You two should really let that whole thing have a vacuum break before you use it on me. I'm going to win. Alright. They saying the same thing. Well, I actually beat them. Again, you should have taken the square to the Yippee! bathroom or to a, somewhere to relieve itself itself before this. It's not gonna do that well if it's blocked up. What's happening now? Lisa! Guess it was just a dream. Lisa? Did win. <laughs> the whole thing was just one big hallucination caused by Mewtwo. Congratulations, you've won. One big goofy little hallucination. And since Ash won in his dreams, I guess Mewtwo gave him a pity trophy. No different than the pity badges he got. And I've taken decades to actually win a Pokemon League, apparently. Then went to the Aloha era, in which case he got even younger somehow. Alright. I don't feel I need to replay the stadium mode again. I think I just only did all that up again because I wanted more of a challenge and I wanted to deal with that smug Mewtwo. But, uh, alright, should I? I'm wondering. Should I do this, the line attack mode or should I go and do the game's processor, Power of the Pawn? Like the Super, Super Famicom game that spawned this, technically. What would be a better fit? Do you jump out of the pond, or do you want me to do more of this game? Because I have this fine. 
Like, Ivo is fine. All right. Hi, what can I do for you? Just trying to remember. Okay, is this what's causing my blinking? Which it is, but I'm trying to think about again. I've got a basic on, but. So yeah, this is all basically one big hallucination of Ash, brought on by Mewtwo, it seems like he has nothing better to do. Because again, I'm going to assume this is around the time of the Orange Island stuff. It's after the first two movies, at the very least. Mewtwo is just chilling out on his lonesome on the island with his clones. He's like, oh, I'm gonna... And he just starts screwing off Ash. That kid that... Oh, that violence is wrong, somehow. And, again, well, I guess you gotta do something when you're bored and you're low tier and smash, so... Alright. I guess I'll do a bit of this. I don't know what it's called, is the spa service. It's Lion Attack, I believe. Oh, is that something close along the lines of that? It's just that this game frames it as being a big Team Rocket scheme, but again, it's not real. Not even in the context of the game, it's just... Ash's nightmares about being counter based too. And all the... All these little backdrops come from, like, different periods of the anime, like... This is the weird biking get-up from the first movie. I don't even remember why they were biking... I don't even remember why they were Vikings at all. Basically, they are trying to provide a way to get Ash and friends to YouTube Island as Vikings. The music here is kind of weird. It seems like it's genuinely unique. It's not based off anything, from, but it's also like spliced with a bunch of. Uh, Samples of the Team Rocket guys going off in the background. How many of those local Meowth gets too? Because again, he doesn't listen to talk when he's pops in the market, but when in the All right. Let's line go. attack, he's very chatty. Aww, way to go. I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea or not. You kind of uh, give him that. Not as good as songs themselves, I think they actually sound a little bit better than just using the whole. Oh boy. Lots of. Okay, it sounds like it's like there's a big downfall going on outside right now. Just like in the. Best movie. Oh, it makes perfect sense. Way to go. Let's go. Yeah, so a lot I can actually probably hear it over my. Uh... I don't know. This is what the mic's picking up, fortunately, but I can clearly hear it. It seems like it's picking up a little slightly, but not by too much. Okay, let's see what you can do. I don't know if it's like a downfall or hail, but... Aww, right. Way to go. It just kind of goes on and off too. It's a bit striking. But again, it's kind of perfect timing considering again the context of how Team Rockets is here. Let's hope it doesn't like. What? What? My home, but... Way to go. <laughs> well, that's main I hate. Whatever it seems like a very... Yeah, it's very loud, very... 
fun night compared to us. Well, I'm ahead of the last few days. And a bit distracting. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Way to go. Right. Sorry. My cat Amber, like, she is a player of the range so much. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, come over here. We are ready whenever you Maybe are. Maybe 10 minutes here, and I just go. Yeah, she came over here. I'm trying to comfort her. And... Again, I don't know how much of the... my mic can use that. Hopefully, you're hearing just my voice and my. Uh... Game audio, okay. Let's see how long this goes on, because again, it's not good. It's kind of fun when it's off a little bit. And of course, I would always turn about power out it, which... It'd be unpleasant if I got kind of like... Not often it's extreme, but if it happens, it happens, I suppose. It just kind of seems like it's an on and off switch thing, too. Way to go. Way to go. I just need to gain his advantage from the team. Oh, yeah. It's not gonna spike again. Really concerned about the well being of my. Again, she's in the world to be safe, but again, I think it's always kind of makes her feel uncomfortable. Oh, I thought I actually get this version of the game, the kind of game. That's a creative touch, I will say, though, making the world stop, like the world cool down time a uh, jiggly path. I think that's actually one of the chances where they actually utilize the changes, the cosmetic changes just right. Because there's no chance just a, a little clock that stops it, which makes sense considering what's going on, but again, this makes the jiggly type and again, like, if you know anything about the game, even the games alone, how it sings that's people to sleep. Remember when Jigglypuff was very big and huge in the anime? Now that was kind of really the only real big factor in her, her being in Smash Brothers. Again, the Pokemon didn't have any suspicions at the time, so the Jigglypuff could be in the game, but Wow, it's pretty indecisive, uh... ...rain right now. All right. Sorry about that. I was hoping to uh, do a little bit more, but nature, I suppose, called in the way. Mother nature, I suppose, called. Just decided to rain down tonight. I'm just kind of. I want to start cutting things up in case. Preparation for worse. So I think it will happen, but I'd rather not be taking my chances with the uh, weather. And as I say that, it's, it might seem like it sounds like it's winding down. Is it winding down or is it going to start back up? It's going to start back up with a few flushes, isn't it? So yeah, it sounds like it is cooling down a little bit now. Again, a little bit. Um, Alright, I think I think I will call the 
night, unfortunately. Just gotta make sure this. I don't know. I'm gonna take a quick look at the forecast here. Like a very quick look. Just, just kind of preparing in advance in case. Might be a similar case Wednesday, which that would be unfortunate. And Saturday. Like, waiting on those specific days. I don't think that might sound. Again. Sounds like it's cooling off now, but if I go back to the game, is it going to start acting up? I don't know. I am really kind of. Thunder's not sounding too loud, so I'm willing to give that a bit of a doubt, but at the same time, I think I've showcased what I've had to, so... Yeah, regardless of what happens, I am probably going to stop doing a little earlier than usual. But, uh, again, just kind of a bit of safe and sorry feeling right now. Thank you all for coming. Happy to it. Again, I hope I'm here Wednesday with no more heroes. We'll see how severe the weather is during that period. Again, the timing just seems to be a bit unfortunate. It might, well, maybe not. It might be a little bit better. Maybe not so much on uh, Saturday, though, which I might take that because I have no clue what I'm doing Saturday, so... Again, if things work out right, I'm back to No More Heroes on Wednesday, and I don't know what I'm doing Saturday. Wonder Boy game... You do the Wonder Boy games on Saturday normally, but I finished the last one a bit too early, and I'm waiting for the new one to come out. The Monster World 4 remake. So I don't know what I'm going to do then. Again, I might postpone it based on the weather, but... Anyways... Stay happy, stay happy, stay safe. Don't have you to invade your dreams. Live life to the fullest. Uh, until next time. Way to go! I'm gonna win! Yippee! We did it! Bye!